Hello, right, I'm back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a video that I was requested to do quite a while back. I'm going to go over how I made my notes in first and second year. But before we get there, I just want to say only 31% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I do uh, university vlogs. That's pretty much all I've done. I say I, I've, I've always said that I do gameplay, but I haven't actually really done much so far. So yeah, so before I quickly go over how I make my notes, I just want to do a quick recap of the week. I started my first day on Monday and it's Friday now. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to go through how my week went because that's kind of interesting, I guess. Some interesting things happened. So yeah, I've gone out to talk for this video. Yeah, I'm tired. So basically this morning, I really wanted to go to the gym, but... I didn't want it to be busy, so, so the gym I go to is the Pure Gym just down the road. And it's usually a 24 hour gym, but because of like lockdown and everything, it's open between 10 at night and 4 in the morning. I, I thought it'd be a good idea to wake up at 5 in the morning before like a 9am le uh, Zoom call lecture. So I set my alarm, uh, it went off at 5 and <laughs> I literally have no willpower, so I ended up not getting up and now I'm really tired. The expectations I have myself are too high. So on Monday chill day I've, I've vlogged monday by the way so if you haven't already seen that it's my last video so go and check out my channel uh i vlogged what i did on that monday but on monday so i went and collected my scrubs logged into the library uh we got given ipads so i just basically collecting stuff and finding my way to the hospital was kind of that's kind of all i did on monday yeah and the rest of the week's pretty chill so i've had to do a refresh of cpr training that I did a few days ago, so we had to do an online course and then we went in and just had a little assessment past that, so that's all good. And then, this is where it all kind of went a bit downhill. So the next thing we had was we were given like an online workbook where we had to learn about the PPE virtually um, that we were going to be using on the wards. I think our hospital has like three levels of PPE. This is for level three PPE. You had to wear uh, something called an F. FFP3 mask, I believe. I might be saying the wrong name, but quite a chunky mask that you put over with like a proper um, respirator on. I think it's a legal requirement. You have to have this fitted to your face to make sure there's no like leaking around the outside. Both my housemates had this scheduled earlier on in the week. They both went. They were told that you needed to clean shave for it. And so, oh yeah, I clean shaved. Oh, it's grown back. I've got stubble now because it was about two or three days ago. I, I mean, I don't I don't usually shave my beard. I quite like just having a beard. I feel a bit like a baby's face. I shaved, turned up, and apparently I didn't actually need to shave. I didn't need to get my mask fitted because the wards I were going to be on first were not. There were no risk of being in contact with um, COVID patients. So they were going to do the respirator or the... Yeah, they were going to get the FFP3 masks fitted later on when we were when i was on my next rotation in wards that may or may not have covid patients so i didn't even i didn't even need to shave i was kind of sad the annoying thing is i told other people in my group that they needed to shave just because they they asked i wasn't there what else am i going to talk about We'd also been emailed that we had to complete these online training courses, which I believe are like courses that anyone getting a job at the hospital has to, has to do. So it's basically about like, it's a whole range of things. It's like how to carry objects safely and stuff like that. And from a glance, it didn't look like it was going to take ages, but it just did. It took absolutely ages. Probably spent about two days, maybe about a few hours each day. I'd only got through the first section and there was about seven or eight sections. Um, so yeah, I put all this time into it. My housemates had done even more. They were even further through it. And then we get an email about two hours ago saying that we only needed to do the bottom two, which kind of sucked because I put so much time into the other sections, but it doesn't really matter. It's annoying. This is the weekend tomorrow so i'm just gonna try and i'm gonna try and get these two little training courses out of the way but yeah i've been waffling enough I'm gonna go on to the video so i'm gonna just quickly go over how i made notes for my first and second year of medical school it's nothing fancy but i was asked so. all right so i'm not sure how well these um this note taking technique is gonna hold up in third year we'll have to find out but yeah let's get on with it let's just let's go over to my computer Okay, right, so I'm on my computer here. I think the easiest way I can do this is just go through some of my notes and just explain how I do it. It's very simple. I don't do any like fancy iPad Pro pen stuff or anything. It's literally just Word. <laughs> uh, and it worked for me fine first, second year, so 
I'm gonna try it third year, hopefully it works. I've ended up saving all my stuff. It's locally saved to my laptop, but I don't have any recording software, so. I've opened it all up on Google Drive, so yeah, one thing I do recommend is back everything up. Google Drive's quite good. You get, I think you get like 15 gigabyte free. Let's have a look, let's have a look. So let's go on semester three. Okay, right, so we're on K7. So in this week, we went over Parkinson's. So what I do is I make a folder for each week or each case and all the documents I produce based around that case or week, I put it all into this folder. Um, apart from anatomy, I've got a whole separate folder for anatomy. So in this Parkinson's case, we went over the basal ganglia. So as you can see, I've just, I think a little, it's a little bit glitched out because I usually use Word. I don't think, I don't think um, Google Docs opens it correctly. Never mind. This, this lecture was about a lot all the pathways so these are all notes so basically what I do is I have a lecture on one side of the screen um, you can do it two times speed but I end up having to pause it quite a lot and then a word document open on the other side of the screen try and write down everything that seems useful yeah this document's kind of messed up because it's on Google Docs but you get the point I kind of just it's not a particularly long one but yeah this was uh, this was a a lot of notes on Parkinson's. It's got quite a lot of the same pathways. It's all stuff I need to revise, actually. Yeah, these notes, these notes, by the way, they're awful. They're completely, if I were to open it, I would download it and then open it into Word. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm actually gonna go on to now. So I did used to back stuff up to Google Drive, but now if we go here, so I now use OneDrive because that seems to be because it natively opens stuff in Microsoft Word, which is the format that I create the documents in. So there's no like format issues or anything. So it seems to work the best for me. But you only get five gigabyte free. Oh, my camera just died. <laughs> okay, I've got a new battery. So yeah, I can access OneDrive on the iPad or my laptop and on my desktop and on my phone. And it seems to open the documents in Word. So. There's no like weird artifacts or text sort, it's all in the right place, which is quite good. But as you can see, I've got all my cases for that semester and all the notes. So basically I have an anatomy folder and the way I organize this is by week. So as you can see, I've got like week one, two, three, four, four semester four. I believe there's only nine weeks of anatomy in that semester, but if we were to go into like week four, I've only got three PowerPoints, but they're quite large PowerPoints. So one of them is based around the workbook we get set by the uni and the notes I make from that, which overlaps quite heavily with um, the notes I find out from my own research um, on what I need to. And then I've got a histology on this one. because I think there was quite a lot of histology in this week. If we go on the end, I do this on PowerPoint because it's a lot easier to move pictures and stuff around. You can see this is what this is my uh, workbook. Yeah, so we're just doing about the duodenum and the parts of it. Some questions in there. Quite a lot of screenshots, pictures, and tables and stuff. Yeah, it's quite long. Yeah, so we've got a bit about the cecum, the appendix, the positions of the appendix. Yeah, so like the nervous, some nervous system. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how I do my anatomy. I keep my anatomy separate from the case, but it works for me. So yeah, and then all the other parts, like I got folders for OSCEs and like all the other things. It all works. So yeah, that was um, quite a straightforward video on just how I make my notes. <laughs> Med school. But yeah, if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe. I make videos like this quite often I try and get ourselves to 15 likes it's good that's a good target see you guys in my next video